back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I am so very excited to be here another week as we just come together and create and we just enjoy ourselves. So I always love this time that we get to do this and I just like to forget about all my stresses and worries and just have fun creating. Um, and I hope that all of y'all that are watching this too can feel the same way. Um, don't feel uh, stressed or anything about what you think the e your end piece of artwork is going to look like. I just really, really want you to enjoy doing this. There's no right or wrong way. If you kind of tweak your project along and it doesn't end up looking, you know, like exactly like the project that you see on the video, that is absolutely fine. You can add things, take things away. I want you to just, just really enjoy this time of coming together and creating. Uh, so we will go ahead and get started for today. We will be creating a hot air balloon piece of art. So you will need plain paper or construction paper, scissors, a stapler, plastic bags because we're going to stuff it and kind of make it look a little 3D, um, and yarn and some coloring utensils so that you can color and decorate your hot air balloon. Um, or maybe, yeah, some yarn or something you could hang it up, hang it from the ceiling or anything like that. But so we will go ahead and get started. Um, I've provided a template for you. So you're going to need two of these, the hot air balloon shapes, and you could cut them out of construction paper. You could cut them out of plain paper and just decorate them and color on them. You can even cut them out of different colors, construction paper and color and decorate on that any way you wanted to do this. Um, and then this will be the little basket that we use. Again, you can either cut this out of like brown construction paper or any other color construction paper, or you can color it, uh, cut it out of just plain paper and decorate it that way. But so you'll need one basket and two of the hot air balloon shapes. So one will be our back piece. So you don't have to really worry about decorating and coloring your back piece unless you want to hang it from the ceiling. Then you might want both sides decorated. Um, but so you can color, come up with any design that you want to on your hot air balloon. Um, I know a lot of times it seems like we see the hot air balloons and they've got those, those three different, like they're made out of three different little sections. You don't have to put those on there. Again, you can just decorate it any way you want to. So you can start to color if you like to use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you like to use best, that's what I want you to use to decorate your hot air balloon. So I think these always end up looking really cute and I just, I really like them. So yes. But anyway, you can color them solid. You can make designs in each one. You can have each one be a different design, however you wanted to do this. But I really just want you to enjoy it and have a good time creating. But so this middle piece, I'll put some, some of this lime green colored polka dots, kind of like the same color as my shirt here. So, uh, since I mentioned my shirt, um, we will be having arts camp again this summer. We're going to be doing a virtual arts camp and we're going to have one week of in-person art camp. Um, if you are interested, please, please um, contact the Lancaster County Council of the Arts and get signed up for that. There are scholarships available um, to help you pay for going to arts camp for either one. Um, so just, just call if you're interested in everything. It's always fun, a good time. But we are going to just 
color, I want you to fill in your whole thing. I know sometimes some people might not really like to, to color certain things and you just would rather create it and staple and glue and build and fold instead of just coloring. Um, but I really do encourage you, if you just really don't like to color, then don't. But I would like to encourage you to decorate it and just make it look really good. Give it a good design and colors and everything on it. So yes, I am going to do this middle section that I have here with some of these lime green polka dots. And then I'm going to change it up on the other two sections. And do, I'm going to have something different in each of my sections here. Try to really fill it in. So I've got some lime green polka dots in the middle and on the end I'm going to do some dark green little lines that kind of look like sprinkles on an ice cream cone or, or those sugar cookies with the different colored icing on them. Not that sugar cookies or ice cream is always the best thing to eat, but sometimes uh, it's all right. You can have a little treat um, every once in a while. So, and that's what this makes me think of, the little sprinkles that come on those things. So that's what we're do I'm doing on this side. But yeah, you can do this anyway. And like I said, if you wanted to do with construction paper and have it just um, cut out of colored paper, that is fine too. As long as you are just really enjoying this and having a good time. Alright, then on the other side... I think I'm going to do kind of like a turquoise color and I will do lines on that. I'm just doing some lines going across it here. There we go. Um, so, once you get your front piece decorated, like I said, if you want to hang it up and you want to have both sides of your hot air balloon decorated, you could decorate your other one as well. If not, we're going to start to put it together. Um, and if you are in a classroom and um, you need help handling a stapler or anything like that, I'm sure your teacher would come around or staple them or maybe already have them stapled for you, however it gets done. But when we get ready to staple it, we're going to start kind of right here at the bottom of the big, the big part and then go staple all across the top until we get about right here. And that way it's a wide enough space that we'll be able to um, stuff it with our plastic bags without ripping it and everything. So we'll just get our stapler and we're gonna go around and just kind of staple the two pieces together. Sometimes my stapler gets jammed up and I just have to open it and I don't know why that unjams it to open it, but it usually helps. Of 
All right, so once you get your two pieces stapled together, you'll be able to open it. It'll kind of be like a little pocket, almost. So since it is open wide enough for us to stuff it with the bags and without it getting ripped, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get some um, plastic grocery bags. Um, you can stuff this as full or as light as you want to. So, but do be careful just um, in case it does kind of start to rip. And if it does, just we can, you can staple it back. So, we'll, I'll put one whole bag in the very top part of it there. And then get some more. And when you get it stuffed, then you'll just hold them together and you're going to finish stapling up along the ends. We're going to leave the bottom part open, but we'll just finish stapling up along the sides right here. together as you go and you might need to keep um, stuffing and shoving those little edges of your plastic bag back in there. So we will leave the bottom open like this. Now you are going to use your yarn and you're going to need about, you're going to need two pieces. And they can be as long as however long you want your basket hanging down. So I don't want mine hanging too, too low. So I've kind of got about a three inch three inch long piece of yarn here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tie knots in the end so that when I staple it on my paper, it won't be able just to pull right on through the other end of the staple. So yeah, I have my knots in each end and I'm going to staple one on the basket and see like where my knot is right here, I'm gonna put the staple right above the knot. And then that way it will not kind of fall off real easy. Just kind of makes it a little bit more secure with that knot in it. All right, and then the same thing with the other piece of yarn. And you could always um, punch holes in your basket or your hot air balloon if you had a hole puncher. Um, you could do it that way um, or any way. So there's not just one way to, to solve a problem. So if we, we've got this thing, we know we want to hang our basket on it. So we can come up with different solutions for how to make that work. And more than likely, there's going to be more than one solution to things that you need to make work. So, so we've got them stapled on the basket there. And then I am going to take the yarn and I'm going to put it on the inside where it's open there. And then kind of close it back around the yarn and staple that in place. 
whoops, I kind of pulled it out there. Alright, and then my other piece of yarn, do the same way. Staple that down in place, and there's your hot air balloon. So it's kind of got that 3D look to it. Um, you could hang them up from the ceiling, you could hang them out in the hallway if you're in school, or you might could hang it up in your room, but just something just to kind of make you feel just a little light and airy and free and to, to just enjoy. So I hope that you all have enjoyed the hot air balloon project. Next week, we will be creating a drawing on aluminum foil. So you'll need just like your regular household roll of aluminum or tin foil, and you're going to need some permanent markers. And then you might want to get some construction paper, different colors, so that we can kind of glue it to that and kind of have something to mat it and frame it on. But so I hope that you look forward to next week as we come together and create our tinfoil drawing. And I will see you then. Thanks.